Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and visit my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks provides reproduction and upgrade decal sets for Transformer toys from Generation 1 to the latest modern figures. Make sure and stop by the ToyHacks Armory, where they can equip your figures with new weaponry in multiple colors, and Toy Stages provides backdrops for figure displays and photography. Each purchase with Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that can be used for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bots in this video is the Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise MicroMasters Astro Squad with Blastmaster and Fuser. Taking a close look at the packaging, you've got the Astro Squad right there in robot mode. Nice artwork of their space shuttle mode right there. And I believe this is the third space shuttle that the Earthrise line has. You've got Astro Train, who is a carryover from Siege. You got Skylinks, and now you've got these guys. So that's pretty cool. Back of the package, you've got the Astro Squad, Blastmaster, and Fuser in robot mode. There is their space shuttle mode, and there they are positioned on Ironworks. So now, without further ado, let's get these guys ripped open out of the package and see if they're as out of this world as they look. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now, once you get the Astro Squad all open and out of the packaging, you'll see they do come with a sheet of instructions. And just like all the modern Transformers, these instructions are very well illustrated and very easy to follow. But with these two guys, you really don't need these instructions. So here we have Fuser and Blastmaster. We'll go ahead and take a look at Fuser first. This is a decent looking robot. I dig this guy. He's really cool looking. And I love the fact he has molded in blasters. You can actually see the fist sculpted in and he's wielding these blasters. He is dual wielding and ready for some action. And I love that face sculpt. It looks like he's smirking. He's got a shit eating grin on his face, ready to take on some Decepticons. And those little blasters are blast effect compatible. Let's get these on there. So there you go. That is really, really cool. Lots of nice molded details on the guy. Take a look at the chest here. Molded details there. Got some paint applications there on the stomach. He's got some blue underwear. Molded details down on the legs. Articulation for the guy. Arms can do a complete 360. They're on a ball joint. They can go up. They can go down. Legs up and down as well. And he has a knee bend. And there is a waist rotation, but the waist is locked in with this backpack here. And as you can see, He's got quite a bit of a backpack, so you would have to pop this open, move the backpack down to get the waist rotation. But that's mainly for transformation. And speaking of transformation, let's go ahead and get this guy in his alt mode. So let's go ahead with the backpack. You're going to flip this nose cone up and push that down over the head. Right here, now that the backpack's out of the way, you're going to rotate the waist a complete 360 peg these feet together and rotate this section around. Now we're gonna bring the arms, push those up and forward, and you just kind of line up everything. Make sure the blasters get tucked up in under his legs. Everything gets pegged in, this section flips down, and there is Fuser's alt mode. If it is this little shuttle, and yes, this piece itself is supposed to be a shuttle by itself. 
He's got little thrusters right there on the back that are also Blast Effect compatible. So now you have this little escape shuttle launching off. Lots of nice details on this. I love the blue paint right there for the windows. The black for the nose cone. Looks really, really good. So that is Fuser. Now we're going to take a look at Blastmaster. This guy, my biggest problem with him right out of the package, he is ungodly top heavy. I mean, I had to really manipulate him to get him to stand for this shot. I had to spread the legs and angle him forward, but there is a lot of junk in this guy's trunk. Taking a closer look at him, very nice looking robot mode as well. Not as much details on him as Fuser, but still, he's not bad. Very plain with the wings. He needed a Autobot logo or two, aside from the product advertisement there. I hate that. But anyway, a decent looking robot nonetheless. Arms can do a complete 360, though they are going to hit the wings and the backpack. No waist articulation. Legs can go up and down, and there is a knee bend. Big wingspan, though. So he's, he's all right. He's, he's the weaker of the two robots. Now, to transform this guy, he's a little bit more complicated. The first thing you're going to do is flip up this tail fin, get that up out of the way. Now you can flip the head back, and you're going to push up this little peg right here all the way in. So it looks like that. Now you're going to take the legs, there's a little peg right here, peg these together, and rotate those around, making sure they once again peg. There's pegs right there that go with those slots on the bottom of the feet. Get those lined up, pegged in place. Now that this is all attached, you're going to take the arms, there's a little peg right there by the fist, and you're going to peg those into the slots there on the hips. So get those pegged in. Okay, now that those pegs tabs are in, you got tabs right here on the wings and down here on the arm. You want to make sure these line up and tab into place as well. They will click. And there we have Blastmaster in his alt mode. Now this looks like the rear of a shuttle, but you're wrong. This is a separate vehicle as well. You can make out the tiny bridge right here on top, though it does use or does need some paint applications but that supposedly is its own little vehicle. And of course it's blast effect compatible here on the back. Peg those in and there we go. But of course you guys know already that these two can combine together. You got these slots right here that will match up to these pegs and they actually peg together very well, and now we have the Astro Squad in their combined form of a NASA shuttle. And that is so awesome that NASA lets Hasbro use their name on these shuttles. It adds a little bit more touch of realism. Though the shuttle seems to have a little bit of an angle to it. I've tried and tried. You just can't get that thing straight. But it still looks really good. Great paint applications, though it could use just a little bit more tweaks. So I'm hoping Toy Hacks will come up with something for these two. But this is a really nice looking shuttle. And of course, you can add those bigger blast effects here on the back to really make it look like this guy is taking off. I dig it. This thing is awesome. I really like the space shuttles that we're getting in this new Earthrise line. And I love having these two because the Astro Squad is one generation, one MicroMaster set that I don't have. Now, just like all the new modern MicroMasters, the Astro Squad also features a lame weapon mode. So what you can do is you got two different five millimeter pegs you can use, one here on the tip of the shuttle by the nose cone you can flip out, and there's another one right here on the end. So flip either one of those out, Fold the wings up, and let's grab ourselves an Autobot here, like Optimus Prime. Go ahead and get the shuttle in his hand. There we go. And now we add blast effects. And now we have Optimus Prime <laughs> wielding a Nassault rifle. That is just, that's ridiculous, but... 
there's an option if you so choose. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is the Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise Astro Squad with Battlemaster Pinpointer, Battlemaster Smashdown, and the Micromaster Rescue Patrol. The Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise Micromaster Astro Squad is a fun set of figures. I absolutely love all the new Micromasters we're getting, especially these combiner teams. As I said earlier, this is one team that I don't have in Generation 1, so it's so cool to finally have some version of them. I love the articulation on the figures. I love phasers or fusers molded in phasers. It looks really, really cool. And the shuttle mode, man, like I said earlier, it's out of this world. So there you have it, guys. The Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise Astro Squad. So, does the Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise Astro Squad belong in your collection? Absolutely. These are fun little figures, and I love the fact they turn into another space shuttle. I mean, we're getting so many space shuttles now in the Earthrise line. It is so cool, especially now that NASA is allowing their trademark, their name on these Transformers. That is really, really cool. And yeah, I love these guys. I think they're great. If you see them, don't hesitate. Pick them up. I found mine on Amazon for $9.99, so I'll put a link in the description of the video. Like I said, really fun figures, and I'm glad I have them in the collection. Now, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!